It's Benzinelli salad time. We're so excited. Jason Michael Thomas is here. And this is my favorite part. So you've done lots of prep to make this incredible salad. And now we yeah. get to put all the good stuff on top. Yeah, we're going to have fun putting it together. So okay. I figure I could ask you what you like. If you're interested in having any influence here, we've got a lot of ingredients. We can put them all in if bacon. you want. Bacon! Bacon for sure. <laughs> we can add that bacon. Um, all right, let's yes. start with, you like basil? I love Everybody basil. Everybody like basil? Oh, and I, again, wish we had the smell of vision because it's so fresh and it That's smells right. so good in here. Quick chiffonade of basil. Ooh, yes, I love this. And you're cutting that perfectly. I'm always scared I'm going to Yeah, watch, a little basil. A little basil okay, goes in there. You're doing a great there. job. Put that okay. one aside. So we have this on here. Now, how many layers does this bay typically have? It's just got a lot of the goods. I like salads that are hearty, that are meals, and it's just almost like you can just, I kind of eat all the tops off. It top is off. whatever you want. I think there's just, there's no limit. I love Like okay. a little summer squash in there. Yes. I think I like to add things that have a lot of color as well. It okay. makes it really beautiful. You always, they say you want to eat the rainbow. Eat the rainbow. That Not only good. is it pretty, it's good for you. Yes. So we'll go ahead and throw these in here. Now, do you always eat fresh? I eat a lot. I have a rule that I try to follow, and that's eat 50% raw. Okay. So um, I do enjoy a lot of different mm. proteins, you know, beef and pork and chicken. I, I'm definitely one of the, uh, the carnivores on the planet, but, but really more of an omnivore, I should say. And you were telling me that earlier that stress eating is a real thing. I think it is. Especially during these times. Yes. When you're going to stress eat... Try to eat things yeah. that are vibrant and good for yes, you, right? Yes, fill up on the good stuff. Fill up on nutrient-dense foods, that as don't we come like in to say. Packages, right? Yeah, the, they stick to the outside of your grocery store. Okay. Um, yeah, I like throwing green beans in, and okay. sometimes I don't even cook them, and it's really pretty. I've got these purple green beans that I did not bring, but oh, we grow goodness. purple green beans. So I just like to do little slices because it adds a nice little crunch to it. Yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. Right. Now, when did your love of cooking begin? Oh, probably when I was very young, actually. So um, when you were a kid, you knew Yeah, you I started cooking this. with my grandma and with my mom and, you know, just learning how to just do simple things like eggs and, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I have a lot of great memories of that. So. See, I have so many great memories are always made in the kitchen. Even oh, here my on gosh. the show. We yeah. love Why not? Now, now I've got three <laughs> grades of shishito. Like everybody thinks shishitos are green because right. people like to eat them green. Yes. But if you let them get this direction, they Ooh. get a little warmer. Okay. And then this, they're Ooh. still hot. But okay. we'll, we'll throw some in because it's bright red and we I love the it. Red. All right. Look a at that. Faster. Like a pro. Oh no, not that great. I mean, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like cool. I've done it before. Yes. Um, and then of course I really like to add. I brought some edible flowers from <gasps> my from my Ooh. farm. Okay. Now what? Are these? So this is evening primrose, and oh, this is a, oh. an especially delicious flower, uh, which you're welcome to try if you like. Can you just eat it? Oh yeah, you can yeah. just eat a primrose. Can Absolutely. Just, like, take a Go ahead and take one. Oh wow, yeah. this is. My and they're they're kind of sweet actually. I think you'll so enjoy that. I can just like that. take a bite of this. Yeah, just eat it. Mm. Yeah, just eat it. Perfectly mm. fine. So I like to add those last, but I did want mm. to. Does it taste good? Yeah. Vegetative? Kind of tastes like eating grass. But that's good. <laughs> I think they're sweet. But they're sweet. Yeah, sweet grass. Yeah. But evening bad. primrose is really delicious. And I'd like to throw yeah. in some purslane. Okay. And purslane Beautiful. is something that grows all over the world. Mm. I actually found some. I, I went, had the fortune to go to Hawaii a few years ago. And oh. I found literally in salt water on the beach. And I was like, this stuff grows anywhere. <laughs> this stuff, you wow. definitely have that vibe about you, Jason. I love this. And you know, I, you were, I know there's a market that is coming back, right? The downtown market that we Yeah, we, we're doing, so uh, I actually have somebody named Alicia who's mm -hmm. running our two markets today. So oh, she's right. doing the downtown market mm -hmm. on the, right on the Monument Circle. Awesome. And then she's also doing uh, the Meridian Kessler market, okay. which just, kicked in last week. Oh, it's so nice to have that back. Yeah. And outside. So, so yeah. And everyone can distance, but get wonderful fresh mm -hmm. food. So now we mix it all in. So we're going to stir this uh, in, and we need to stir in the bread still for it to be panzanella. Oh, okay. Because so that's the, what makes the panzanella, yeah, the bread. Pa Pa pane, you know, yeah. Italiano. I mean, bread comes from that. That. Uh, and this is major bread. We can't. Yeah, this is okay. my own bread that is for sale at all the farmers markets, as well as on market wagon. I think people don't realize I'm a market wagon yet. Oh, Let's great. stir in some of this bread. Okay. 
Try not to dump it all over. I've got just a big enough bowl. That's actually where the name panzanella comes from, actually. Ooh. It's the bread and the zanella is the like the deep on? bowl. Yes, please, dump it right <laughs> in. <laughs> this is my Put as much as you key like. Key ingredient. <laughs> I mean, Jason, if you tell me to do as much yeah, as go I like, ahead. all just, the bacon's going in there. And that is Delicious. Becker Farms jowl bacon. Ooh, yeah. So the key is to kind of add enough juice from the tomatoes. Okay. And just and let, just it, let it all soak in. This and I so actually great. set aside some of the juice. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to add as much as I wanted. I didn't want to go too gung ho about it. Because the tomatoes juice out quite a bit, like in that first right. little little break between the segments. And before we run out of time, what kind of dressing are we? We use the juice? Do we put a little something on top as well? Oh, yeah. So I've got a dressing here that's okay. made with uh, my kombucha vinegar as well as Ooh, some, nice. some actually tomato juice from, from other. Uh, juices All and you can juices. just kind of mix it in. It's a vinaigrette that I like to use with gold crop. Beautiful. Also want to use the sage and garlic oil. Just kind okay. of squirt a little bit of that on there. I love it. A little of this, a little of that. And, and then we can Oh, okay. Do the, the little flowers. flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and where can everybody find you? Yeah. Uh, JasonMichaelThomas.com. Okay. And around at all the markets. All the yeah. markets. Yeah. Oh, Check crazy. it out. Look at this. Yeah. Awesome. You notice I added all that bacon. We got to get yes. some pictures. We'll yes.